Let's say we have in the background this polymer synthesizer playing some kind of random melody and you want to change the volume of this. And that's pretty easy, right? You can use here the output knob or we can use here a tool device to change the volume or we can use here, of course, the track faders for this. Uh, the problem with this is that all of this is manual. You have to do it by yourself. You have to watch here these meters and then, you know, change the volume accordingly. And sometimes you won't do this automatically like a normalized feature. And in Bitwig Studio 5.2, we have, of course, the clip or the audio clip normalization feature, but it only works on audio material, on audio files. It's not, it doesn't work on instrument tracks here or live audio and yeah that's something you want sometimes and for this i made this auto level preset here maybe you can remember this i did this in a in an earlier video and this basically takes the audio input here of this polymer synthesizer tries to measure it with the follower and then it tries to match the output volumes the highest peak always is at zero db so it's kind of a slow or very slow compressor uh, that tries to match basically zero db uh, the problem with this is that this is doing this all the time continuously so there's always a measurement there's always a volume adjusting or adjust all the time happening and sometimes you don't want that you just want to measure the input volume once and then you want to try and set the output volume once and there are some tools for that for instance i used uh, here this plugin called db meter before so you can switch this here to RMS, for instance, and you can type in here a reference value. So let's say you want to have an output volume of 10 dB or minus 10 dB. And then you measure basically here the current input volume, which is here, maybe this one minus 26, right? And then you hit this match button once, and then you apply here 16 dB gain and then you match basically the output volume of minus 10 dB here with this plugin. So it's a normalization plugin or tool. And the benefit of this is basically you can do this once. You just measure it once, you hit the button once, and then you set the output volume once, which is very nice um, because that's exactly what you want sometimes. But there's no native way of doing this at the moment. Uh, but you can do a workaround, of course, because I really like to do workarounds in Bitwig Studio for some reason and misuse certain devices. Because we have now here this chain uh, chain device in Bitwig Studio and we have here this wet gain learn feature on this chain device. And all it does is basically it analyzes the input signal in front of the chain device and then it tries to match it with the output volume. So it changes basically the output volume based on the input volume. So um, that's nice, but we can also misuse this. So we can say inside of this chain device, we have here an audio receiver, right? And let's put in front of this chain device, a tool device. And let's call this tool device audio for some reason. And here we just grab the audio output of this tool, right? So we go to the same track here, pool. Um, then we have here audio out, I think, yeah, that's it. So we get basically the audio from this tool device, okay? And in front of this chain device now, we just put here a test tone. And maybe switch this to pink noise. And then the mix 100% and we can change here the output volume of this test tone device so this is basically our reference value so we can call this here maybe reference and we can dial in here let's say minus 23 db okay and now when we hit here this learn button um, it measures basically the output of this test tone device and it tries to apply a gain to this audio receiver so the audio receiver matches the loudness of this reference tool. I hope this makes sense to you. So we push this button here 
that analyzes here the pink noise and then it applies a gain to this audio receiver output. <clears throat> so the benefit of this is that you can put this here into some kind of preset and put it on different tracks and you have a live normalization tool basically. So I do this here, I use another chain. I call this um, normalize and then I put the audio in here, the reference value and also this chain device in there, okay. Let's see if here this is still intact, okay, we can make this smaller and we can say we want to have here, well let's actually use here a macro, add a new page and call this um, reference volume, right. Um, one downside of this trick here basically is that this learn button here or this learn feature is not mappable to a macro or to a remote control. So we can't just here use this basically on a, as a remote control or with a, let's say a, a button macro here, right? You can't just modulate this. So this is a problem. Maybe the they add this in another beta version would be nice because sometimes you just want to have multiple chain devices inside of a layer and you just want to hit one button and um, analyze multiple chains at the same time would be nice to have uh, but at the moment it's not possible so we can just use this normalize preset here and maybe save it as a preset here normalize chain um, that's utility, wet FX. Okay. So now you can just drag this to another track and just open this up and then hit this learn button here and you get the same volume. So you can use this to basically bring in consistency uh, to all your tracks or use it for gain staging on synthesizers so you don't have to bounce it down to audio and then use the audio normalization feature uh, with Bitwig 5.2. So this is basically your solution for instruments or for live audio or for let's say you have an external synthesizer and you just want to roughly match the volume with all the other tracks. You can do this with this kind of tool here and this measures here for I don't know 23 seconds or something like this to get the real you know feel for the input volume but it works pretty great uh, would be nice we get here some kind of um, feature that we can map it to a remote or to a macro but like i said it's not possible at the moment so this is basically a quick hack to get normalization on live audio and i want to show you this i think i showed this before in the first stream about bitwig studio 5.1 but i never made a dedicated video for this and yeah that's it basically i put this uh, preset here in the description below so you can download it if you want to and um yeah it works actually pretty well so leave a like leave a subscription uh leave me a comment if you want to thanks for watching and i see you in the next video bye it's actually a stupid melody